Hey, I'm Andrew Connell. This video is an overview of one of the chapters in my course, Mastering the SharePoint Framework, that's available for uh, purchase on my site, Voitanos.io. This overview video is gonna give you an idea of everything that the chapter uh, covers. You can learn more by checking out the description uh, in the notes below the video. Um, if you got any questions about this chapter or about the course in general, just make sure you drop a comment uh, below in, in the uh, below the video and I'll be sure to get back to you. So with that, let me get out of the way. Enjoy the overview to this chapter. Welcome back to my course on Mastering the SharePoint Framework. I'm Andrew Connell, and this chapter will teach you how you can access SharePoint data in your SharePoint Framework projects. SharePoint contains a very popular data storage option in the term of lists and libraries. The data within these containers can be leveraged in your customizations, such as a client-side web part with the SharePoint framework. In this chapter, I show you how you can use a specific API, the SPHTP client object, to read and write to and from these containers in your customizations. So what are we gonna cover in this chapter? We'll first briefly look at the SharePoint REST API for those of you who aren't very familiar with it. Feel free to go ahead and jump ahead of this section if you're very familiar with the SharePoint REST API and you just need to see how to work with it using the SharePoint framework. Then we're going to look at the SPHTTP client. It's an object that the SharePoint framework API provides that we can use to call the REST API for us. The rest of the chapter is going to be filled with lessons on each of the different activities that you can do, such as reading SharePoint list items, creating SharePoint list items, updating SharePoint list items, deleting SharePoint list items, and then the last lesson is going to cover a very complex topic called batching. Uh, batching is going to enable us to stuff multiple requests into a single round trip to the server and parse the response that comes back from it. So that's a lot to tackle, so let's go ahead and get going. <music> 